I made this travel title intro reveal in After Effects with just two keyframes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. To be honest, I'm not yet mentally prepared to take an ice bath. I need to travel somewhere hot. These were my travel destinations of last year, and I'm so excited that my this year's travel season will start in a few weeks. And for each of my travel vlogs, I will use this title animation that I created in After Effects. It's some kind of a brush stroke reveal. It's grungy and it has a choppy stop motion style. It looks quite complex, but it's really fast and easy to create. And here is how I made it. First, I'm gonna create a composition that is 1920 by 1080 pixels in size. My frame rate is 24 frames per second because most of my videos are intended to be cinematic. I'm gonna set the duration to 100 frames and just for demonstration purposes, I changed the background color to Deep Cyan. I named the composition Travel Intro, which will be our main composition, hit OK and leave it like that for the time being. When I create a new composition, you see that the compositing setting values are taken over from the last one. In this case, I'm gonna change the width value to 1080 pixels and name the composition Brush01 as it will contain the animated brush stroke. I'm gonna create a new solid that is also 1080 by 1080 in size. Then I select the brush tool in the toolbar and choose one of the soft elliptical brush presets in the brushes tab. Then I set the diameter to 115 pixels, roundness to 50% and hardness to 100%. In the paint tab, I set the flow to 30%. Before I use the brush, I set the duration option to constant to make sure that no keyframes are set, at least for now. Then I double click on the solid layer to open the layer viewer because that's the only mode to apply the brush. Then I turn on the grid to have a guide and start to draw the way you see it here. While drawing, please try to cover two grid rows at once. And please draw the brush stroke in one go. Release your mouse or graphics pen after 7 times of drawing back and forth. When you open the layers effect settings, you can see that a paint effect is automatically created. In the stroke options, I set an end keyframe and move it to frame 50. Then I put the playhead back to frame 0, change the end value to 0 and another keyframe is automatically set. And this is how the brush animation should look like. Then I'm gonna open the effects tab and look for the rough edges effect. I'm gonna apply it to the layer, check the paint on transparent checkbox first, change the border value to 0, scale to 80, stretch width to 3 and complexity to 6. Now the brush animation looks quite grungy. We're gonna improve the brush stroke a bit and apply a turbulent displace effect on the layer. I'm gonna change the displacement mode to horizontal displacement, the amount to 2250, size to 4 and complexity to the value of 2. And now this looks even more like a brush stroke. If you want, you can play with the stroke values to create your own look. Now let's duplicate the brush composition, which is automatically renamed to brush02, go into the new composition and duplicate the solid layer as well. I'm gonna move the top layer to frame 8 and change the track mat of the bottom layer to alpha inverted. And as you can see, as soon as the brush stroke starts to grow on one end, it also shrinks on the other end at the same time. By the way, the brush stroke doesn't disappear perfectly, but that doesn't matter. Now let's go back to our main composition and create a text layer in the composition's center. I recommend a font that is already grungy, like the surfing capital font I'm using here. Then I insert the brush01 composition and set the rotation to minus 19. When you hit play, the stroke animation should cover the text completely. If not, scale the font accordingly. Then I'm gonna change the track mat of the text layer to alpha. Now we finally have a brush stroke text reveal. But that's a way too simple. Let's put some icing on the cake. 
I'm gonna duplicate both layers and replace the new Brush 01 layer with a Brush 02 composition by dragging and dropping it onto the layer to replace while holding the Alt key. Let's toggle off the bottom text layer and hit play to see how the text is revealed and concealed at the same time. Then I'm gonna apply a transform effect on the top text layer and change scale to 110. Now I'm gonna toggle on the bottom text layer, move the two bottom layers to frame 5 and hit play. See how intricate the animation looks now with this simple treatment. Last but not least, I'm gonna do one last polishing. I'm gonna look for the turbulent displace effect and drag and drop it onto the bottom text layer. Then I set the amount to 5 and size to 30. At this point, I'm gonna cheat a bit to fulfill my premise to just use two keyframes. I will use expressions, but don't worry, it's just a very simple code. I'm gonna open Turbulent Displays and I'll click on the Evolution Stopwatch. This enables the evolution value to be driven by expressions. I'm gonna replace the current line by time, which simply means that the evolution's value corresponds to the current time. For example, at second 3, the value would be 3 degrees. Because that's not sufficient to see any impact, I'm gonna multiply it with 500. And when I hit play, the text is wobbling a bit. But that's not what I want. Last but not least, I'm gonna apply a posterized time effect and set the frame rate to 3, which simulates a 3 frames per second animation. And when I hit play, you see that the text wobble gets some kind of a stop motion effect. So that's it guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. You can reveal any type of graphics. You can also use the brush mask as a transition. And you can try different brush animations. By the way, I want to figure out if this can be done in Premiere Pro as well. So stay tuned. My channel is all about tips and tutorials in motion design and cinematography and my daily life as a creative freelancer. Please subscribe my channel. See you next time.